Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahold of Second Swing Golf here on the driving range at PGA Frisco, joined by our good friend Mark Brooks. Um, it is Augusta week, so you've got your your green on, of course. I did. I made a, I made, finally made a trip back over this year yeah. for a couple of days. It was it's beautiful, and I uh, can't can't wait to get started with this. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. So um, we're on the range because we've got two drivers that are very different here. Um, that one you're holding is the driver that you used to win the 1996 PGA Championship. So can you kind of tell us a little bit about that driver? Um, well, you know, the build, the, the specs, kind of anything that you might know about it. So this is the, this is an eight degree Big Bertha. When I when I played, I, we were pretty precise back then, but the way we measured, I, I had about eight and a quarter degrees. Okay. Less than eight and a half degrees. And what was so crazy is this head looked big. <laughs> right. And, and which we started with those guys, I did, uh, I'm gonna say around 1991. Okay. And I played with some buddies at home. Actually, my manager had one and we were just playing a casual round. I'm like, let me hit that thing. And I hit it pretty good. And <laughs> weeks passed, I was still driving it poorly. I finally called the Callaway rep, yeah. Evan Byers. I said, man, can you send me one? This is at the, Greens, at the Greater Greensboro Open. I called him like Thursday after my round. I drove it real funky with whatever I had. He overnighted me two drivers. I went to the range Friday morning. I didn't play till about noon. I picked one of them. Didn't take long. One of them was clearly better than the other. Yeah. I ended up winning that Sunday. <laughs> so, so that stayed in the bag then? In theory, I was the first guy to win with a, with this big berth of, okay. on the PGA Tour. Um, and I think it's actually factual. So I stayed basically in a similar head or head style. They, as everyone knows, they yeah. evolved every couple sure, of years. Yeah. They, they made a change. change a few things, yeah. And then I ended up with this shaft, which I played this shaft almost five years. You know, everybody okay. probably thinks I'm a big tinkerer. I changed all the time. I mean, I played one set of irons for seven straight years. Yeah. I played the same driver head for five and a half years. It finally cracked. Uh, what I would do is I it, I had it break a couple times traveling yeah. uh, and I'd reshaft or let's say I started with a hundred gram shaft originally. Actually, I started with steel. So okay, it probably would have sure. weighed close yeah. to 130 grams. And then as shafts developed, I was able to make a longer shaft and this is probably around 95 grams, yeah, okay. which was light at the time. It was light, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, in this the 90s. This one's a little lighter now. <laughs> yeah, that one. That one's probably 58 grams yeah, or something right, like that. Yeah. So that's kind of how it evolved. And the story on this was, I had a shadow box I had sold at a charity thing. You know, pro, I'm sure it was a kid's charity. And I don't know, maybe a year ago, a fellow contacted me and said, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm ch we've moved. The shadow box got busted up. Uh, you want your driver back? <laughs> he, he literally sent it back to me. It's actually signed on the bottom. It's kind of fading out, but uh, this is the one with this the lead the tape. One. And there you go, because I did not have a bunch of backups. Uh, yeah, so this, I suppose not. So there's not like 10 of these things right. running around for me. But anyway, that, that's sort of the story on that. So I had Callaway taken it out one up. other time. I was driving it really bad, probably in the early 2000s. The ball had switched already, yeah, so this had sure. to be 2004 or five. And I had another one and I took it out and I mean, it was like unhittable with the new stuff. Okay, so you had so to, you had to go to Old Faithful. I'm giving you a little, a, yeah, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> a, a little uh, for, foreshadowing here about what this thing might yeah, do. Yeah, okay. I, oh yeah. I, haven't I, hit one of these. It's very, and, very different, clearly. So this is, now this is your gamer driver. That's my gamer this driver. This is the G430 Max 10K. You've got it, from what I see, a nine degree head and then all I the either CB. play it standard or sometimes I'll put it on the flat setting if, my, okay. if my hook starts taking over. <laughs> I'll, I'll turn, the, turn the toe sure. down. And then the stock shaft, X. yeah, stock shaft. That X is probably a soft X. Yeah. Uh, and so that's kind of okay. where I am nowadays. I don't play a lot of golf. Yeah. Uh, teach a lot. And um, this driver's awesome. Yeah. And there's a lot of good stuff on the market right now, but man, as far as straight and getting it out there, I enjoy that driver. Well, let's, uh, so which one do you want to hit first, actually? Do you want to hit this oh, one? Oh, we got to go with this. We're going to hit that one first? Oh, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's just. There's no way it's going to get off the ground, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> All right, let's see what we got. And the grip is a real problem here. <laughs> this grip is 28 years old. Oh gosh. This is the old. That's going to be. This an was issue. a Callaway branded, but this was an old. Uh, we called it the Green Vic, and they didn't last long. I would probably change this. My grips. I used this grip for a long time, tw over 25 years. Probably four sets a year. Yeah. You know, I would change them wow. out because they'd get slick. Well, let's uh, let's let's see what we have here. I'm I'm very curious to see what happens. All right, how's the, how's the grip feeling? It's very slick, <laughs> but we're gonna try to hang on to it. Okay. So, I, you know, I've, I've only hit a couple here to get sure. re-familiarized with it. I think this is probably about 43 and a half. 
inches long, so okay. probably just a hair longer than a standard yeah. modern three wood. Right. Okay. Or t today's three woods. I do recall after hitting a couple, even though I was a draw player, I built this to not really hook. So I really, I didn't try to hit many draws with yeah. this club. Not so I, it's kind of a fade club almost. I now. limited the number yeah. of draws because of again spin issues. Yeah. Right. But, okay. Uh, you know. Yeah. Because this was also built pre. You know, this is the the. This was definitely this built was with a spinny a lot of golf ball. Yeah, yeah. A spinny golf ball. Okay. So we'll send one out and take a peek at the numbers. That one turned over a little bit, huh? Pretty straight. Yeah. So what, what were you what were you thinking for numbers on that? Like how far do you think you hit that ball? In the air? Either one. 190. 197 was your carry there. Yeah, I can. Feeling good about that? <laughs> feeling awesome about that. <laughs> There's a little draw. There we go. Got some more speed on that one. Launch about seven. I'm afraid to miss it. So that spin rate, you're not going to bleed the spin rate. 1,200. <laughs> 871. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Under 1,000. <laughs> I've never seen that. 871. So a total at 240. This is the perfect wind ball driver. It's going dead straight. Wow. Does that show you how much the ball's changed? Yeah, it really does. Was that spin about 1,000? Yeah, 982. Yep. So we'll, the only way I could get any That's spin, fine. we all know to have to go to a cut shot, some kind of fade. Still not spinning. Hit that. Oh in the no. Neck. So that was, was that kind of a cut shot? I tried. That was a okay. little in the neck. Yeah, that one did you, you eclipsed the thousand spin there at 1026. That's funny. Got it wow. in here. Look at that. So here, let's let's go over those those uh, five swings, okay? Yeah, we one of them was a throw out for sure, but go ahead. Yeah, we've got, <laughs> this is funny. So the, the average spin rate is 1,011. Beautiful. <laughs> um, I've got all the, the whole table up here. Your average carry was 205.6. Sweet. And the average total was 243.1. Um, your ball speed, you're kind of hovering around 144. Yeah, it's slow. Let's see, the apex uh, average height was 62 feet. That's way up there. That seems like it's, you know, you're just, you're launching that thing in the sky. Um, well, the last one's the highest one I hit. What did it peak? 72 feet? 76 yeah. and eight inches. Yeah, I missed about four feet. So, you were, were you trying to get to 80? Oh, I can get to 80, but. Yeah, just hit one more and try to get to 80. Right. Your launch angle on average was 13 degrees. So you're Which actually, is really weird. Yeah. You yeah. think it'd be let's like just kinda, eight. Let's just do one of these. Ooh, that is up there. Isn't it awful? <laughs> Isn't it awful? And we, again, probably close to a 100 gram shaft. Yeah, right. Which is bad long. Okay, so that one, the launch, to, launch to 15, the peak height was 83 feet. Yeah, we'll go to 80. And now we're looking for, that's about what I'd norm, my normal drive would be now. That one's turning back over. Oh, that's got like 600 RPM. <laughs> so the end story. I didn't even which, grab the spin that time. <laughs> all right. Well, this is where it gets ridiculous. Yeah. I literally use this as a, a three slash two wood. When yeah. I had this in the bag, I hit this off the ground all the time. You did no way. Yes, sir. That's how different. So the golf ball back then would actually go I, in the air. Is I that, hope is I swung a little better back then. <laughs> well, but I used to, I hit this off the ground a lot. Really. I mean, not a real downhill lie, but if I had a decent lie, I hit this off the deck a ton. I didn't even carry three wood. I mean, wow. one year I literally, they kept stats. I made 11 eagles with this, with this thing. You know, actually hitting second <laughs> like shots second on five shot? pars. That's, yeah. that's ridiculous. Okay. So, which would be virtually impossible. All right, let's hit, a, let's hit maybe one or two more, and then we'll grab your gamer, and we'll uh, <coughs> see what we got for numbers there. But right now, you got some, some good ones. So I would clearly not try to hook this club if you right. made me play with it. I can't even hit it now. You got me crazy here. <laughs> When's the last time you've hit this club? B before today. I told you maybe 2004. Okay. After the ball had changed, I took it out yeah. one afternoon. I probably hit, I didn't hit any more than this. I was mm -hmm. hitting, a, and I was still playing pretty good golf right. then. 
I hit literally a, a super low, just bleeder to the right with the new golf ball. Ah, so it was like, it was a fun experiment, but it was like the old magic wasn't there anymore. Right. So huh. it became kind of worthless. And I actually, I'm going to tee one down a little more here. Okay. This would be, just go for a normal shot. Oh yeah. That's just a normal shot right there. So that's what you would, that's how kind of you would just normally. With the other the golf green. ball, you know, again, with the other ball, even though it was a, supposedly a lower launching ball. Yeah. That ball would have taken off probably on about a nine degree launch. Yep. With a peak height in the old days, probably in that 80 foot range, 75, 80 feet. Yeah. And still had a decent run out. Yeah. So that one, so that last shot, you tried to hit it down, 1300 spin. So it did spin a spun, little well, relative more, to what we're More in the middle of face. Yeah. Um, your, the peak height was 39 and a half feet. 30 uh, feet. Half. 185 carry, 229.6 total. So there you go. I mean, everything's, every, what's happened here is almost everything's been divided in half. Yeah. You know, and you go, well, well that doesn't make any sense. So I'll do the math real quick. Like the, the numbers are half what they need to be. Yeah. But if you, what, well, the way I, I, I looked at the, the new ball versus the old ball, the old ball spun basically twice as much. Right, yeah. yeah. So yeah. that's kind of where the math, if you slow it down, you go, oh, that kind of makes sense. Because that's going to double basically like the landing angle, correct. right? And all those right, things. Correct. Okay. Yeah, because your landing angle on that shot was 22 degrees. I mean, it That's was not pretty flat, and it was not unusual for people to have 4,000 plus our uh, yeah, spin rates. Yeah, I bet that was pretty normal back then. The, I'm sure it was. Yeah, and though guys like myself who could probably send it out there around 3,000, yeah, 2,800, we had an advantage into the wind. Yeah, uh, you know, over right, the real, the right. high spin guys. I'm talking with the old ball. Mm -hmm. So, with those to in the, out of all those swings, right? Your total spin average was 1326. Carry 202, 239 total. And I know you kind of flighted a couple sure. and did a couple different things. 61 feet, six inches on the height. Ball speed at 143 miles an hour. Um, the landing angle average was under 30, 29 degrees. They're running. So, all this right, show, shall well, we? We'll hit one more and then maybe go to One more British yours. Open. This is 95 St. Andrews. Mm. <laughs> Can't do it. You want to see what that looks like on the, no, I don't. the tracer? Okay. I really do not want to see that. <laughs> okay. You, you, I mean, it's already come back to me 28 years later, 30 years later. You go, well, I see why you didn't try to hook this driver much. Because it did not work good. <laughs> there it is. Just it's a pretty low funny. knuckler into the wind. I mean, it's insane. Golf would not be that fun yeah, right they, now. Yeah, I mean, they didn't even grab the spin that time. This was... would not be fun to play with. <laughs> Let's try something else. All right, let's try, let's try yours. That's, that's, you're a current gamer. That's funny. That's sort of my shot right there. Right there. That's a good one. I like that one to end on here. If you made me go, I'd go, I could play that today. Oh, I think you could play a lot of those today. Yeah. So, all right, let's wrap this up here with some some numbers. On. So I've got everything normalized now. So we're kind of in a vacuum conditions here. With the Big Bertha, carry average was 222.3. Okay. 261.7 total. So that's a that's a hybrid that has some run out on the Yeah, end of it. today, right? Yeah. <laughs> It'd be a three hybrid. Today, and then with the driver, now this is actually with a couple at, you know. Kick my bad ones out? Yeah, yeah. I hope. Yeah, so. So now averages with the your gamer G430 Max 10K 254.1 carry. That's good for me. 284 total. Very good. So we gained about 23 total on average, and then we also gained carry distance of about 32 yards. Well, that that's where it's that's that's, I mean, that's, where, that's I know that's what you're paying attention 100%, to. Hundred percent. That's yep. game changer. Apex height, uh, average 87 feet with the gamer, which makes sense. 63 with yours. 30 feet higher yeah. than Apex. Well, yeah. and what, we're, I, I would say the most surprising number that came out of that was, even though, I, you know, again, I don't play very much golf, but the launch was higher with that old thing than I thought it would be yeah, to go was. so low. And yeah. I'm sure that, that that's certainly a, an equation of spin. spin. Right. Oh, I mean, totally. I, I think it's I actually, had it's interesting. some that were probably le sub 800. <laughs> oh, you, know, you did. Seriously. <laughs> it's, it's interesting because you said that the launch angle on average with that was 13 degrees. Which is crazy. So it's kind of, you're launching it high and it's just kind of <laughs> dipping right out of the sky. That's fascinating. It looks okay. like somebody's down there just shooting it out of the sky. <laughs> but unfortunately, at about 100 yards, they're still Yeah, right. It. 
Well, this is this is any other numbers you're curious about here? No, we got, we got everything no. here. Otherwise, I mean, not that we expected it to be that similar. I mean, we got 28 years of different, well, maybe 30 years of difference in technology here. Um, but just kind of it goes to show the importance of the golf ball and how much that changed things. Well, and and true. So if we went back and looked it up, the truth be told, you know, I, I would have been in point, obviously in my 30s, probably swinging today's club. I'm going to say I was probably about 108, 110 mile an hour guy max. Back then, maximum. Yeah. yeah, back then, maximum. And I probably couldn't carry that driver 250 yards. You know, yeah. does it make sense? Right. I mean, yeah, it yeah. was probably a 245 carry job. Yeah. So we were definitely in, but you know, your average, you look at it, it probably, my average is probably around 262 back in those days. Yeah. Um, I mean, it. I would average that, or I would average, I would average better than that if I played yeah, right now. Right now. So it's, With that, it's yeah. insane. Yeah, I mean, you did for what it's worth. We'll touch on this too. Club speed was about four miles an hour faster. And there's some and of that with the, you know, with the weight and weight and the, and the length, length of the golf yeah, club. For that's, sure. So that was naturally going to happen too. But uh, yeah, this is this is wild. It's very cool. Thanks for bringing that in, by the way. You Thanks got for it. Bringing it in. Uh, and of course, really cool. you know, CCs the size of the head. Oh gosh, yeah. Volume. This one's probably almost twice as yeah. Twice. It has twice to be. That. Yeah. Well. Fascinating stuff. I know the viewers are liking this because that was fun. All the all the club junkies. Um, well, at least I finally got got in the groove. Oh, we got some good. Yeah, we got, got some, some good stuff. One. But golfers, uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. Mark, thank you for you got it for it joining. Uh, this is fantastic. Uh, and stay tuned for more stuff from uh, from Mark here coming soon.